Welcome back, everybody. Welcome if you are new. Today, we're in the super late models here at Fairbury. Hopefully, we can run pretty decent. We're car eight. We had the fourth fastest lap out here. So, hopefully, we can do pretty decent. Fairbury is a tough track, really small track, but a lot of fun. We've got CFM sets on board. So, if you want to try them out, check the description down low. There's a discount code and all that if you want to try out the sets. But let's see what we can do. It's going to be right along the bottom right now. I'm probably going to run like in the twos, like probably mid to higher twos for our qualifying lap, I imagine. Trying not to spin the tires too much. And I can consistently like run a two down here. Oh, that was a three. Not exactly what we were hoping for there. Hoping for a little quicker. Cause I was like just consistently running twos there at the end of practice. Ran a 322, so we're a consistent at least a 302 and a 322. Pretty close in time. Gavin's barely quicker than us, so he qualified third so far. Right now we're fourth. A decent bit of people have qualified, so that's pretty good for us. Happy about that. Got a lot of people we know out here. Tolson out there. Gavin, obviously. We got uh, Justin out here. I know there's a uh, uh, Matthew down here. Tucker Elkins, Caleb Durgan, Zach Jenkins. Like a bunch of people we race a lot of time. Very, very fast people, but so far we've qualified pretty decent. There will be a consolation race. So top seven in the heats, advance straight to the feature. Hopefully we can do that. All right, heat one is rolling off. We qualified in six, so we'll be third in heat number two. We got Gavin here we'll be on board with for the beginning of this heat. Since uh, he's starting in the same spot as us, so I kind of want to see how it goes for him. Tolson's on pole. I think uh, Matthew is second. So we'll see how this plays out. There are 21 cars in this lobby, so 18 make the feature. Three cars will be going home, but I think of the six car. Yeah, Zach was not here. Don't know what happened to him. He's just not in the lobby. So, so far that's one missing. Hopefully uh, we can make it through the feature. and We don't have to go through the constellation race. Being on bottom for a second heat might be a little tough. I think there'll still be some grip down there though to where we can go, but pace car is off. They're off and going now. Green flag. Gavin didn't have the best start. Fourth place had a better start than he did. Running right on that inside. Looks like Tolson moved up to the middle potentially. Don't know if on purpose or he missed turn one and uh, Matthew got under him there. Gavin's falling back to fourth so far, but nothing really happening there. Maybe he's migrating a little higher. No, just on the straightaway trying to get out to that wall. But the track is so like bumpy and stuff right now. It's a lot of fun. It has a lot of character to it. Very tough. Some guys are moving way up. Some guys way down low. Seems like two preferred lines and don't really want to be straight through the middle. Guy on the outside is flying on Gavin. That's Caleb Durgan, obviously. Absolutely mobbing on the outside there. Seems like the outside may be the preferred line at this point. Even though Matthew's still holding the lead up here on the bottom, he's doing a pretty good job down here, just slow rolling the bottom while the rest of the guys are ripping the top, and then Gavin's just been on the bottom trying to make it work. I feel like he's running a little too high. They're throwing sliders on each other back there for second, or up there for second, I should say. But the top five right here, sixth, seventh, and then eighth down here on the bottom. Who is it? Tyson trying to fight his way into the feature race right now. Lap six of eight already. He's trying to slow roll it. They're three wide up here for about third. They're throwing sliders on each other, crossing over three wide off the corner. Absolutely crazy stuff. It definitely seems like the top's going to be preferred later on in the uh, feature for sure. But last lap here, I believe. Tolson dives it down to the bottom, trying to make anything he can happen. But it looks like Matthew's going to end up winning the heat race. Good run by him. Uh, Gavin fell back to fifth. Maybe got fourth at the line. No, I, I think Durgan still got uh fourth line he did just barely over gavin about a hundredth or no like a tenth or so but uh up to elijah ended up getting seventh there in the heat so tyson will be the first one out there into the feature or the uh, consolation sorry but we'll see what we could do here Get in our heat and we're getting ready to roll off here we got lindy and gavin both telling us good luck thank you sirs lindy's starting straight behind us don't run me over lindy i'm watching you don't do it. Oh, he's already getting to our bumper. <laughs> Waiting on Drew to start rolling there. You got Tucker in second up there. Drake on our outside in fourth. We'll see if we can try to slow roll this bottom like uh, Matthew was in heat number one. Hello, Lindy. Good luck to you, sir. 
but hopefully we can kind of slow roll the bo bottom. There's still a decent bit of grip down there if you can hit it right, but the outside has a lot of momentum. So it's going to be interesting to see how it goes. Eight quick laps here, no cautions here in the heat races or consolation. But the feature race there will be. 40 laps in the feature with cautions. Hopefully we can have a somewhat clean race. Our first team was actually pretty clean there. Shocked by that because uh, Fairbury is a very easy track to get into people. Oh, he went earlier than I was expecting. Was not ready for that one. Didn't have the worst start, but not a great one by any means. It had a good turn one, though. We got back in front of Drake on the outside. But I do want to kind of like slow roll this. Because I feel like we can do decent. I screwed that up. Sorry, Lindy. That was all on me. Way too sideways on entry of that corner. Okay, I guess I'm going to move up now. Try to see if I can make the outside work with the momentum. Because I'm screwing up way too much down there on the bottom. Had a good first like lap or two. And then... Just got way too sideways in the entry of three. Thank you for not running me over, Lindy. And he actually ran the correct line. Oh, that was some, those were some nice sparks. I don't think I've ever seen the sparks like that on iRacing. That was crazy. Because I know they had like a small update the other day. Excuse me. The, the other day they had an update. And I don't know if that was a part of it or just something in the uh, settings like just looked like that now. I don't know. Cause that was, those are some bright ass sparks for this night race. Might see a lot of those in this race. Sparks flying. Tapping the right rear just barely on the wall. 12, 6, 0, Trying not to over rotate the car or just 12, not rotate 4, the car enough. 7, 6, Especially in three and four. Very easy to hit the wall in three and four, it seems like. 12, 6, 7, but it looks like we'll, we fell back to fifth just like Gavin did. Which is okay. I'm not worried about that. Gavin and I will start side by side, ninth and tenth, which I feel like the outside might be a little bit better starting off in the uh, feature race. Hopefully, at least for us. But uh, that's fine. We made it to the feature. That's all I'm worried about. We can try to work our way forward from there. But uh, there are going to be how many people? I think is uh, Zach still not here? Yeah, Zach's still not here. So there's going to be what six people fighting for four spots. So two people are going to get knocked out. Hopefully, um, the guys that make it don't like get wrecked or wreck other people hopefully it's a clean uh, consolation it seemed like my heat was pretty co calm and tame as well so uh, we're gonna start side by side with gavin in the features back in 10th we're getting ready to roll off here in the feature race how we doing tonight group <laughs> uh consolation race is um, actually pretty clean as well so everybody's keeping wrong? it pretty cordial so far which is nice well, I'm the land. <laughs> i think the pros are at land or something like that which that sounds yeah. interesting, but probably won't be running that this week. You had a good race. But hopefully we can have a good yeah. run here and there's yeah. not too many cautions. That would be nice. Want a pretty calm, easy race. Just uh, try to rip the outside the best we can. Try to beat Gavin here right. on our inside. Go. Got Lindy straight in front of us. We had a great heat run. I wasn't sure if he got third or fourth there in the uh, heat. Right, he had a good run there. But we're getting ready to go. Hopefully we can have a decent and clean start with how many people we got out here now. Green flag. Almost goosed her a little too hard there. Try to stay on Gavin's outside. Oh, they're already hitting up there. A couple guys got the wall and it slowed them up. Oh, they're already wrecking, already wrecking. Nowhere to go. Don't run into us and we're already getting ran into. <laughs> Waiting on guys to back up and everything. We were, just, we were on the, can, can we, can we go? There we go. But uh, thing does not want to shift very quick. So we got moved all the way to the back from that. That's unfortunate. And uh, we'll get rolling here off another restart. Top lane just stacked up really bad there. Go, 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 go. Hey, baby, do your thing. Ready? Radio check. That's one, two. Radio check. All right, we're back on the inside. Oh, oh I got black flag for cutting the course. Are you serious? Uh, you'll be on the I was just trying to exit pit road there. <laughs> That's stupid. Hopefully that doesn't affect us for the end of the race. Green flag, green flag. Hopefully it's just like the end of the line or green something flag. there. Okay, that would be very often, but go get yourself one, kid. Post race, one lap, three seconds. Wow. Okay. So yeah, we're we're completely screwed on uh, that. Next time I just won't go into the pits. We had like a minute and a half of damage or some stu dumb stuff like that. But uh, I was just trying to get out of pit road, not paying attention to the cone there. 
Cause I, just, I figured they were back on one to green and I was just coming out and I barely missed the cone outside, exiting pit road outside. and you have over a lap Fair of uh, penalty. Zero. So six, that really six, sucks. Seven, five, five, Trying to just run and stay yeah, clean right here on the bottom because we got one on our outside. I want to move up to the outside. 13.01. But we were restarting on the bottom there. Well, I guess, uh, note to self, don't miss the, uh, cones off pit road. That would be detrimental to your race. <laughs> then it says you're cutting the course and you have an overall lap of, uh, 30. It's ridiculous. That's just really unfortunate for us. I don't know why he's, like, so low on us on the straightaway. Okay, now we're moving up. I nailed the wall, too. That was stupid. Oh, Justin got the wall hard. I think he broke his right front. That's unfortunate for him. Yeah, I think Justin just broke his right front there. That sucks. Oh, yeah, I probably have damage on the back end for smacking that wall hard as hell. So, we won't finish dead last now, I think, with Justin breaking his tire, and there is a caution now. So I, don't, I think it was somewhat towards the front, because I think, uh, I don't know if that was Tolson or Vince that went around there on the bottom. So, we'll have uh, caution number two here, and we'll get back out there racing soon. Oh, wow, we're coming around to the one green already. These pace laps are flying by. Like, hey, we, we haven't even green. caught up to the pace car yet, yeah. and then it's one to green, get on the outside. <laughs> Absolutely crazy. It's like it's like a hosted race almost, how quick the cautions feel. So that's kind of funny. I don't know if the uh, black flag stays the same amount. Maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. I have no clue. They're already stacking up up here. Oh, my goodness. Trying not to pass anybody. Yeah, we still have the same black flag. One lap, three seconds. Why, why is it so specific to one lap and three seconds? It can't just be, like, a lap behind. That's so weird. But we'll see where we could technically finish. I'll probably end up running this later in the week again because I feel pretty decent here. Just need to uh, not end up in an early wreck. Because we started 10th. We were going to move up a couple spots, I think, off the start until we ended up in the wreck and we were dead last. So I just decided to pit since we were dead last. But they're stacking up hard up there. Trying not to run anybody over, especially since we have a black flag and I know we're just going to go a lap down anyways. A lap and three seconds further back. Than what we will be. Clear low, 13.574. Deleted is due to 12.793. Just trying to get a feel for running the top. You gotta get so close to it with the right rear, with the right rear tire in that grip, and just trying to keep the car as straight as possible. Seems like one and two, that middle to bottom's a little quicker, but three and four at the top is just so much faster, it's crazy. Clear. 12.8. Five, two. Justin's out. That's unfortunate. Yeah, he definitely broke his right front or something. And Matthew, who started on pole, is back here. He just has nowhere to go. I don't know if his car is, like, really screwed up from the wreck. That uh, happened on lap one or what ha whatever happened. We'll go back and see everything. There's going to be a lot of just wall hits for sure. And then there's definitely going to be the couple of cautions that we've already had. That was a terrible slider right there. That was like the latest slide up, and he, he's gonna get right rear. No, he's not. Oh, they're getting ran over up there almost. Very sketchy stuff. There's just nowhere to go back here. They're hitting door to door right there. I think. They either hit door to door or he swiped the uh, wall before he cut it down there on the back stretch. They hit the wall again up there. He's throwing the slider on one, not the other. That guy just stuck on the bottom, Ron, Rondell. I think it's Rondell. He's just stuck down there watching this mayhem in front of him ensue. Between these two. Absolutely craziness. We're up in the top fine. I just, I don't know how much damage the car has total. Not trying to throw a full slider there or anything. Because also, I think the bottom, you can make work in one and two pretty well. Trying to see if we can just clear him like that. Not quite. Oh, somebody's in the outside wall, broke their tire. And we are behind him still, unfortunately. We didn't have him at the line last time by. That sucks, but it looks like Durgan's up to the lead. That's crazy. Tolson's still second. He was definitely up there, but uh, we're going to restart. It looks like about 13th, maybe 12th with that guy that uh, broke his tire. 
Oh, oh, we are on the inside. I thought we were going to be on the outside, hopefully, because uh, the guy that broke his tire, I thought he was going to be a spot ahead of us. Oh, jeez. He actually came out of pit road correctly, but we had to pass him real quick. But we'll see how this goes. He got his tire fixed and came back out real quick. Try not to run over anybody off the restarts. That's one main thing here is just don't get into a pile up off of a restart, man. It's so tough. Oh, out we still have one outside. Clear. I realize his last name is Chess. He's out here playing chess while the rest of us is playing outside. checkers. In oh, Lindy, out. try not Look to run clear, him over. Clear, clear. Gavin's right there on the outside as well. They're wrecking up top. And somebody's backwards and around. Looks like we all made it by there pretty clean for the most part. All right, we're on the outside this time. Looks like a couple of the more front runners were in that one. They keep getting their car fixed and getting back out here so they're not a lap down like I was trying to do. And uh, we're definitely going to finish pretty much dead last of whoever's on the lead lap. That's how it's going to work for us. Because wherever we cross the line is not going to be where we finish. Unless, like, we get wrecked out. <laughs> Something like that. Ooh, they had a bad start on the bottom down there. A lot of guys moved up to the top very quick. I don't blame them. Got Lindy right in front of us, I believe it is. Yeah. It's having a solid race. Car 18. I think he was able to miss that whole first wreck I, for the most part. Try not to run anybody over or get ran over in the meantime. We're running 11th currently. Hey, that ain't too bad of a recovery from being back in like dead last pretty much, like 18th, 17th, 18th. After that first lap wreck, just really tough to pass because the top is the faster lane for sure, I feel like. You run it right and it's so much quicker, it feels like. Some guys can make that bottom work pretty well down there though. Everybody keeps getting the wall though a lot, which you kind of have to. You gotta get as close to it, if not barely touching it with the right rear. Oh, they're wrecking. Oh, big wreck. We missed them. Somehow we missed every car got by, every single one of them, and we're gonna have to let them all back by. That was nuts. That was so close, but a massive, massive avoidance by us. That was awesome. All right, we're on the bottom for this restart. I think we're in like ninth or something like that right now, which is crazy. Even though it sucks, we're going to be last car. Like however many on the lead lap, we're going to finish behind that guy. So that's unfortunate. Yeah, it looks like we're ninth. First, third, fifth, seventh, ninth. Did not have a very good start. It was not up on the guy in front of me. I forget how quick the restarts are here. Just try to roll the bottom while we're down here. Try not to cause any more damage in this race than that's already happened to people. Outside. And out. caution immediately. Out. We couldn't even get back to the line, damn it. I, I think we were in front of Lindy there too, which sucks. And Gavin's now behind us as well. So I, uh, we were rolling there on the bottom pretty well, but another guy left. Uh, so we might gain a couple spots. We might not finish as far back as I'm thinking. All right, that wreck made it single file for this restart. So anything would have been, any spots would have helped us out there for that one. We're up to ninth, which is crazy. Like we were actually going to have a decent finish if we didn't have this black flag. So I'm really disappointed that one, we even pitted under that first uh, caution. That That's super unfortunate for us and everything. Try not to run Lindy over immediately. Because very sketchy on restarts. But can we go 10 laps green? Probably not. I think we had a decent run there in the middle where there was a good amount of uh, green laps, I want to say. 13.1. But I want to see like where we could have gotten up to if we just like have a decent run here. Might be able to get up to 8th, 7th maybe. I don't know. It would be so funny if like I, I could end up getting up to Gavin and actually technically beating him But then we have the penalty and then we're behind him anyways, but hell we're racing hard for every spot we can get But we feel fast here at Fairbury like these sets are digging man Trying to run the middle cuz Tyson's right on the bottom there. Oh, we were actually seventh off that restart damn That's crazy Going well. outside, outside. I can't quite take it three wide because Tyson's still clear. like clearing us on the uh, for the straights. Clear. That was an awful three and four. Just got too tight there. 
Tyson now moved up. Okay. Damn, I wish I would have stayed in our middle lane. Now we got one on our inside. Because I was expecting Tyson to stay down there. Try to get inside of Lindy again. I got too tight. I got in correctly, and then I just didn't keep up the throttle. That was bad on me. I think the Jake right there, the one that just passed us, is one of the guys that broke his tire earlier in this race. He got it fixed in pit road, which you can actually fix really fast on pit road. Like you just go in there, get a second of uh, re damage repaired, and your your tire's back on the car. But try not to do anything stupid here. Technically, we would finish eighth right now. Lindy probably thinks that he's really fighting me for a position, but he's not. He got me at the line anyways. Good race. Good race. Good run, good run there, Lindy. That's awesome for him. He got seventh there. But good race by uh, Lindy there. Durgan gets the win. Where are we going to fall back to is the thing. How many were on the lead lap? Because uh, that's wherever we're going to finish. Looks like we fell back. Oh, we only fell back to 11th. That's not too bad. I'm okay with that. We might not lose as much as I thought we would because a lot of people ended up wrecked. Oh, Moser was uh, had the same thing. And looks like uh, so did the five, maybe? Oh, no. Was he already? Yeah, he was already back here. Never mind because of his damage. But Moser, who passed us, that was actually for a position because he had the black flag as well. But uh, he didn't finish three seconds ahead. But uh, we both had that black flag, which is hilarious. So, damn, Lindy ended up finishing six. Gavin up there in fourth. Great run by them. Good win by Durgan. Elijah getting uh, second. Caden third. Probably guys that just didn't end up with too many incidents. Oh, Jake had a 0x, but he broke his tire. That's nuts. That is super unfortunate there. Some guys with 12x, just a lot of uh, incidents there. How many is it to DQ? 12x DQ. Okay, so that, that might be why they end up leaving. They, had a, they DQ'd out of this race. So there was a lot of incidents, obviously, in this thing. So let's go back, see what happened here throughout the, the feature. Because right off the start, there was a massive pile up here on the first turn. This was the first uh, corner that, oh yeah, he just ran him over. Outside car here just ran over first place all the way into the corner and then everybody's piling up into it. So that's unfortunate. I didn't have anywhere to go. Slid into it as slow as we could and then we got slid into in the back and all that. So just nowhere for anybody to go once the front guy literally starts getting turned. That's unfortunate. And then uh, what happened here? Lindy, wall... That's good. We're going to see that stuff a lot where everybody just get in the wall. Car that spun out first place. Wall. We got slid by Tullis in there. They're fighting for the lead. Gavin and Lindy here side by side. It's going to be Lindy wall. I just want to see what the, the wrecks were because I know there was multiple more uh, wrecks. 15 car got in there a little hot. Got that three car barely. He is getting in the back of Tolson as well there. He just diving it into these corners. Makes sense why he DQ'd out of the damn race. <laughs> Tolson messed up that corner for sure. Got the wall and then tapped from behind, but that was more on him getting tight. Diving it in again, getting that right rear. Did I get the wall here? Oh, yeah, I smashed the wall there off of uh, the back stretch. At least we didn't bend the spoiler. That was the main thing. Justin there broke his tire. He really didn't even hit the wall that hard, did he? Just went in low, back front, or back to front. That's the worst hit is when your back hits, it brings your front around, it breaks your right front tire immediately, and it sucks. So that was the next caution. We saw that happen. Yeah, and he just could not turn. Oh, right in front of the leader. Is that, oh, geez, getting ran over. That's unfortunate. That was just a bad spot to uh, come to a stop, unfortunately. I don't know if he knew his right front was broken, broken. Maybe he thought it was all right for the... Uh, remainder but yeah this was this restart was all jumbled up because i think uh second got into or fourth got into second and then it just jumbled up everybody there on the restart it was bad then what happened here another wall hits wall and car hits and then getting slid almost by durgan there that was tight a lot of people with incidents though it's crazy eight car getting tapped back there a little bit just super tight racing this is the guy that was up in the lead early Oh, yeah, he got into the guy in front of him, and then we barely tap him. It was just like a chain reaction there. 15, going to get that guy. He got tied a little bit there on the inside, but not really any harm. Tolson going in with the slider line, nailed the wall. I think he broke his right front there. Oh, no, he's still turning. He's still turning, is he? Yeah, he's still turning. I thought I, thought I saw it, like, wobbling, but no, he's all right. He nailed that wall, though. That was nuts. And then he's going for that slider down there. Probably going to nail the wall again. No, actually, he got that opening there, so it wasn't that bad. 
I think this is where Jake ends up breaking his tire, I imagine. Nope, they're just showing him hit the wall there a little. Cut down on the back stretch. Got to hit that right rear on the wall every time. Tolson actually had the lead there at the line. That was crazy. That was a hell of a slider to hold it there off of turn four. Durgan going for the slider from third up to first there. Tolson getting that cut down. Good cut down up there. Good racing up front for sure. Was this the next wreck? I don't know. He got the wall. No, everybody's still good right there. I think the next wreck was uh, Jake breaking his tire, I want to say. I don't know where it was exactly. We're on lap 20, and there's just so many damn incidents with everybody hitting the wall hard as hell. It's absolutely crazy. Yeah, right here might have been where he broke his tire. Back to front. Yep, same exact thing Justin did. You can see the right front pointed outwards. Like, he really screwed up there. Yeah, he can't even turn left at all. He's lucky to get down to the pit lane. I think he exited the same way I did. Like, either just missed the cone or something like that. Getting that black flag. They tap off the restart a little bit. Is he going to get that tire? No, they're going to tap down low. A, a pretty hard, actually. It bumped both of them around. I didn't even see that. I was right behind it. I don't think I noticed it at all. Ooh, everybody's hitting up here. They're trying to cut down, and that's what happened there off of... Oh, yeah. No, that wasn't the one that we missed really close. That was uh, just a stack up from this right here. They stacked up, and he was cutting down as he was sliding up, and obviously they weren't expecting them to cut down like that about at all. So that makes sense. Durgan nailing the wall, almost getting taken out there, and then the caution came out, so he, but he was still going to be in the lead at the line anyways. They're three wide up there for the lead. Ooh, getting really loose off the corner, like tail whipping each other. Going to get the wall. Yep, got the wall off the exit. Where was the one with Gavin and them that we barely missed? That one was terrifying. I think it had to have been really soon here. Where was it? Because this was the guy that started on pole that got turn lap one. Oh, he was trying to get payback. That was the caution. And look at us. Like, we barely missed this. That was nuts. He was trying to get payback and broke his car and spun around. I don't know how I missed that and didn't get hit by Gavin. Holy crap. That was terrifying. We barely missed that perfectly. That was awesome. But they both ended up with damage, unfortunately. But yeah, that was definitely some payback gone wrong. It didn't really work out in his favor. And then he's just sitting down there. Is he still trying to... Oh, he's just trying to get on the pit road, but his car is so broken, he can't even turn the damn thing to get into his stall. Super tight. That was a hard slider to try to clear yourself on. That was just putting yourself right on the dude's nose. So he got turned straight right. That broke his car. I don't know. Was there a caution for that? I think there was. I didn't even see it because I think I was down low or something. I didn't even see that wreck. And then lap 34. I think we went green to the end after the uh, that last caution with 10 to go where we ended up having a single file restart i think that was the last caution this was some tight ass racing here this was fun like i was trying to roll that middle and trying to get to the outside here but i could not quite because he kept sliding up he was still clear and stuff on the uh, straightaways i had the the run and we, we were a little faster than lindy running that middle line until i really screwed it up where was it right there got too tight and then uh we had jake down here flying on our inside so I couldn't like dive it back down there, unfortunately. And then I was able to and still screwed it up, got too tight. And uh, everybody's just getting the wall here at the end again. But that was some fun racing. I definitely want to run it again because uh, I feel like we got robbed out of our what it would have been eighth place finish, which really was only like three spots anyway. So I can't be too mad about that because I got the black flag myself and it was all on me. So it is what it is. Just got to pay more attention off pit row when we go get the car fixed. But let's go see what we end up getting out of the results. All right, results are in. Strength of field, almost 3,800. Not a bad strength of field overall. Somehow we gained safety out of that. How many X's did we end up with? I don't even know. We had only a 2X out of that. So we actually were pretty clean overall, which is nice. We had like the what second least amount uh jake and tyson both had zero which is crazy and then both spencer and myself had two it looks like and then up front elijah had two. Oh wait that was lap two never mind uh anybody else have two a couple guys way in the back that ended up wrecking out and leaving and had two so other than that we uh were able to do all the laps and had a pretty clean race had a massive dodge there uh on gavin and lindy in front of us that was nuts 
but uh, we should have finished eighth. We lose some I rating finishing back here in 11th because there was a lot of low numbers. You could see the 14, 12, 13, 18, 20, 15, 17, all in like the top nine, which is crazy. That does not happen too often. Even Gavin in fourth place got as uh, car number four. Actually, it makes sense. He gained 21. Lindy got a solid 80. That's awesome to see. But a lot of people losing their uh, safety rating this week. There's so many losses throughout the, the race, which is absolutely crazy. But that, that's going to happen at a short track like this. Everybody going for it really hard. But Lose a little bit of I rating. That's all right. We're going to try to gain it back later in the week. Run it again because I do feel pretty quick here. I just have to um, not end up in a wreck early and get that black flag because uh, I would have uh, gotten eighth, probably seventh with Jake getting his black flag and probably gained a little bit of I rating, honestly, finishing in seventh there, which would have been nice for us. I would have been happy about that. We were car eight in this race and it was a solid strength of field. So we'll try again later in the week, but hopefully you guys enjoyed the race nonetheless. Appreciate you guys for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one.